it do? It's your boy DJ Sounds Great. I'm on DME TV Live from Columbia, baby. What's good? We back in the building. Back in the building, man. It's been, what, about a year and a half? Yeah. Yeah, man. Back feel like two TV, years. Just feel like, the dude, feel like two years, man. I just been back. Almost it would have been two years. Probably in the next couple of months. Sure I think so. It sure would have been. We could check YouTube. YouTube would tell the story. Yeah, it would. It definitely would. <laughs> Hey, we got sounds great in the building, man. What's going on, bro? What it do, man? What it do, Columbia? What's good? South Carolina, how y'all doing today? How you been? Hey, man, everything, everything, everything is looking up. I got so many projects working on. Crazy between the radio show, the Blue Aria, the Fantasy Island coming out. The boy got liquors now, you know what I'm saying? What? Yeah. I got about three flavors, man. I got, I got the Blueberry Lemonade. I got the pineapple and I got a grape coming. Okay. Yeah, so okay. it's gonna it's gonna rock. I already got in a couple clubs, man. So people are loving it. Dang, that's dope, man. Oh yeah. Let's talk about this music. What you got going on the music scale? Whew, man. Look, I'm rapping now. Uh, I sing, but I'm rapping more now. So I'm coming for everybody's neck. What's what took you there, man? I mean, from from being, from doing R and B to rapping. Uh, somebody you know crossed me. You know what I'm saying? They 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 crossed me the wrong way, and it's like, well, I rap too, but I just try not to because I'm more of a soulful, chill person. You feel me? But I just had to show people like what it really is. So I'm coming for like everybody. So I might I might be name calling. I don't know, but nobody saved this year. Trust and believe that. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So they gonna feel the wrath of the DJ. So what you what you what you dropping? What you dropping? I got Fugazi. Uh, actually, Thrill Ride the LP is coming out, so that'll be dropping in March. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm actually shooting videos. I'm actually going to Atlanta tomorrow. I'll be shooting a video, doing some uh, photo shoots and everything like that, getting up models, PR people. It's going crazy. It's going down, man. So this whole 2019, if you ain't working with me, you in the way or you a target. Damn. So. That's real. That's real. Straight up. So, so you trying to tell me no R and B? I mean, we're not getting no R and B. Oh no, we gonna get some smooth okay. James. I got some smooth James coming out now. I got some R and B. You know what I'm saying, actually, uh, my man's Kev, the CEO. You ever heard of that dude? Nah, I don't know that dude, man. Oh man, he like one know. of the dopest cinematographers up here in Columbia, man. You need to I get know. up with him, man. Make sure you yeah. look up DME yeah, don't put a TV. On my back, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't put a target on but, my back. But uh, he gonna be shooting uh, a few of my videos, but. You know what I'm saying? We can't really put too many details out there, but it's going to be dope. Be condos, going to be some fly, sexy ladies, you know what I'm saying? Going to have the Ari up in there, too. I'm saying, but that's that's coming. I'll be in Columbia shooting those. If y'all want to get y'all little, uh, what they call them, Janks? Cameo. You know, cameos, hit the boy up, man. I ain't going to tell you when I'm here. Y'all got to hit me up. You know what I'm saying? So Be ready. Be ready. That's all I got to say. All right. So what's going on in Atlanta, man? I know you got a lot of stuff going on. You do deal with the magazines, the models. Magazines, models, festivals. Because y'all missed the uh, Sweet Auburn Music Festival last year. But we're actually having a spring festival okay. before they do the one in the fall. Okay. So make sure y'all pay attention to the IG. So who do they need to contact? They just need to pay attention, man. Pay attention to the IG. You know what I'm Drop saying? the IG. DJ underscore sounds. Underscore Hold up. DJ. Great. DJ? DJ. Radio DJ. Hold up, man. Baby. So so singer. Singer, songwriter, MC, DJ, photographer, filmmaker, graphic designer. The list goes on, baby. So when did we get to this DJ stage, man? I mean Actually I've been a radio DJ for about a year and a half. The Soundwave TV uh the Sound Wave plays on ninety one point eight We on Radio out of New York City. Okay. So if you're on the radio station and you're from Carolina, Georgia, anywhere in the south off the rip, you get exposure in New York City just by being on my show. You know what I'm saying? We've got DJs all over the nation and it's international play. Damn. Your BDS, BDS monitoring, all that good stuff. So every time your song plays, as long as your paperwork right, you get played and you get a tweet notifying you to your Twitter that your song is playing. You say one key thing, man, that a lot of indie artists still fail to realize they need to have that paperwork. That's what we talked about in the first interview. If they pay attention to that, they they lost in the sauce now because 
Hey, I'm, I'm more. We can't I'm, go. We can't go backwards, man. We're no, going forward, man. I'm very, very hard to reach now. So you can't even talk to me directly no more. Damn. Yeah, yeah. If I talk to you directly, I, I really like you, or you just rock with me from the beginning. But yeah, you can't even talk to me directly no more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Talk so, to so you. with this, this, the models, man. I mean. You've been working with magazines. I know you went to New York. You went to New York last year, correct? Yeah, I'll actually be going in March again, too. Okay, okay. Yeah, so my thing is, since I am a photographer, mm -hmm. and I, I have worked with many different, you know, events, models, um, music events, library events, just all kinds of stuff. My addition to the magazine, besides hip-hop, was models and fashion. Because models, fashion, cars... It all goes synonymous with hip-hop and music. Right. So I wanted to incorporate that in the magazine. Okay. So that's why I've been looking for models, and I actually teamed up with Ferrell's Crown Modeling Agency in Lithonia, Georgia. Okay. So I have a whole model agency. I just, bing, bing. You know what I'm saying? Just okay. call the phone, and it's just, it's going to be so big. It's actually an event, February 23rd, February 23rd in Atlanta, Georgia. I'll be filming that. Doing live interviews with all the models and all the people that's coming through, so it's gonna be pretty dope, man. Definitely, man. I, gotta, yeah. I definitely gotta pull up, man, and, and check that hey, out. Hey, come up, man. Come up, VIP. Get, you be get with my me. Camera, get my camera shoot. You know what I'm saying? Definitely me, gotta VIP, start taking man. more photos. Definitely. So with with the model agency, man, how how can someone like just say they wanna book a model for a video shoot or maybe even a movie role? Well, what they would do is they would contact the Pharaoh's Crown Modeling Agency and talk to the owner, Lena Allure, and they would let them know the details, you know, how to pay for the day, where they need to be at, and they need to do it, of course, in the two to three weeks prior so the model would be ready and the agency would be ready and get all the travel arrangements, and that's pretty much it. Okay. You so, know, so, but nothing last minute. Okay, but it has, so it has to be a, a time frame. It has to be a time frame. Okay. It has to be legit and paid. Because these are professional models, and not just like, oh, this is my homegirl. Like, no, these are professional models that do this for a living. So, see, and that's that's the difference, man. I I be finding it, it's it's kind of hard, man, to really find females that want to model, and it maybe could be they had prior issues in the past with people that's not legit or they don't want to pay. You know what I'm saying? So, I think definitely that's something good, man. A lot of artists need to really start paying attention to model agency, especially when they really want to bring the quality of their videos, you know, up, up a notch or two. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people will try to get a dancer. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. There's no disrespect to any dancers that are dancing and modeling, but they get dancers or they get people who have poor management and nothing gets done at all. Right. And then you're just left with bad reputations and bad stories and just negativity surrounding either a certain person or a certain area. And even that, it goes in the whole box of bad business. But even that, it can make a whole city look bad simply because a few people have done bad business. And you, you don't want to do that. So just to skip out on all the foolishness, all the BS, I teamed up with an actual modeling agency. So it's strictly the business. And that's what everybody should do. Definitely, definitely. Let's talk about this 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 line man line of liquor man. I mean I mean I, I've seen people a lot of people are getting into this. You know what I'm saying? I, I see you, you say you got different flavors. How many flavors? Three. Three flavors. Three for right now. Who approached you with that man? It was actually I was at the rack room. Okay. I was judging an event there, um, and I saw this dude. Mm -hmm. He, he moved different, you know, he didn't move like an artist, he didn't move like a promoter, he moved very different. So I approached him, I said, excuse me, what do you do? And he's talking all in riddles and mysterious, I'm like, okay. He's like, I'll let you know, I'll let you know. I'm like, alright, well, I'm on it here for the night, so let me know. So, go in and start judging the event, writing all the notes down, and come back out, he pulls these bottles out. I'm like, oh, you the Freezy Wave dude. Favor. Yeah, okay. he's like, oh, no. you him, and then we just started chopping up, and then he said, I like, I like how you approach me, I like how you presented yourself. Let's do something. That's how it started. Okay. Yeah. So that's dope, man. Yeah, Jerry, man, he pretty sure you know he was here in yeah. January, and he's been he's been really grinding. And he had a lot of stuff going on. Definitely one of the, one of the dopest promoters in the city, and he's he's grinding, man. See, oh. he had a lot of stuff on plate for. For 2019, oh, I know. a lot of things on, on this place. So, 
Good move, man. Good move. I, I need I need to get a flavor in here, man, so we can do a little taste test one day. Oh, oh man. So you you might keep test. buying the bottles over and over, man. It's so good. It's like the Blue Aria is literally the taste of summer. It's a taste of nostalgia. And you sip it, and like, oh, that's good. You try to put it down, you end up picking it back up again, and just... And all you do is just relax. It calms you. It makes you feel like... Nothing but joy and happiness is going on while you're drinking it. So it's like your own little glass of paradise, man. So how has the the reviews? Oh, it's been great, man. I've sold about three cases already. Okay. Like what flavor is like the the, the, the top selling flavor? Blue Aria is the top, but the pineapple is popping. I haven't brought the grape out yet. Okay. Yeah, so I'm saving the grape because I've never heard of a grape vodka before. I don't think I have either. Exactly. But that if one's... it was, it probably wasn't as popular as like the pineapple. Mm -hmm. I think pineapple definitely... But for the grape, I'll actually be throwing a whole... Like it's like a wine tasting party, but a okay. whole vodka tasting party. Okay. So I'm actually looking for a venue right now to do that. And I'll have all the flavors there. I'll have DJs, all mm -hmm. the artists. It'll be a really dope event. Models, all that good stuff. So okay. I'm still trying to pick a city to do it in. But um, we'll be actually unveiling the pineapple in New York at the 4040 okay. this year. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. Damn. Yeah, man. man. You got a lot of things going making on. Making moves, man. baby. Making moves. Hey, it, it's good to see you out here making moves. Got and you're to, not, man. you know, you're well, not I've been, I've been in the background for about three years. Mm -hmm. There's, nobody really knows what I do. Right. You know what I'm saying? They just kind of see me pop up places and be like, man, he's here too. But yeah, I've been in the background for about three years doing production, networking, meeting, greeting, film, making sure everything works, graphics. So a lot of people don't know what I actually am the force behind a lot of stuff. But I just chill in the background. But now, I want to be in the front. Right. So you're going to see me in Carolina. You're going to see me in Atlanta, New York, and Florida. Okay. Yeah, I got some I got some stuff popping off in Florida. We're going to keep that hush-hush until y'all see it. So. What's, 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 what's your main goal in 2019? What's, what you shooting for? Right, Sesame what? Street. Sesame Street? No lie. I know it might throw some people off, but that used to be the thing back in the day, man. Somebody pop up on Sesame Street or the Muppets, you know they made it. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? That's true. So as an actual musician, somebody that takes his art seriously, that's a big goal. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But um, to be recognized internationally, that, that's been my main goal. So that's what I'm working on this year. The Soundwave TV is actually coming back. Okay. Yeah, so um, if you guys actually type in the Soundwave TV to YouTube, there have been interviews, performances that I've personally gone on and recorded, people setting up stages, all kinds of events, just to show the actual lifestyle of the artists. Between them going to the studio, then performing, them actually being a person. And then, different, and then actually seeing them at events and performing in front of the crowd. So that's actually coming back. But it'll be on Vivo. Oh, man, that's dope. Yeah, so it's that's not just going to be a regular YouTube channel. It'll be on Vivo. And it will be promoted like I always do anything. But this will actually give the artists a chance to really get out in front of the audience or the potential audience that they could have. So just another thing to help you know promote the indie artists and get them outside of their area outside of their city okay, so that's 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 a big move man yeah, it's it, it definitely it'll, it'll help the artists man it's yeah, definitely so from the move. radio station to the video to the, the stage we got you magazine all kinds of stuff you just gotta chime in tune in pay attention and you gotta want it because this is a lifestyle this is not something you do this is who you are you wake up and this is you. This is not, oh, I just feel like doing this day. Like, no, this is what you breathe, and sleep, and eat every single day. And if it's not, then you need to go back to the workforce. So the people that want to get in contact with you, drop their social media. DJ underscore sounds underscore great IG. Matter of fact, make it simple. Just Google sounds great. Everything is right there. Everything will pop up at the bottom. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that. Just Google sounds great. Trust me, I'm there. You can find me easy. Hey, bro. I definitely appreciate you coming through. Oh, I appreciate you. I know it's you. been a minute, but oh, you already me. know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah.